So, synchronous and bringing out a massive bed, as you can see. Oh, now I used this last night, and I've got to say, I resorted back to my teenage years because I just did not want to get out of bed. It is that comfortable. I'll get onto all the stats in a minute, but it's just huge. I'm actually quite fortunate to get my hands on this because at the date of filming, this isn't available. But by the time it hits your screens and you will see this video, it will be. Size is obviously the first thing you want to know. 220 centimetres long and a metre wide. So this thing really is absolutely huge. Now I already use quite a big bed chair, but this simply dwarfs it in size. That does come with some of its downsides, as you'd expect. So yes, you may have to get your hands on a heavy goods license to get this rounded to your swim, but I can assure you, once it's up, you will not regret it. But my spiny senses are tingling. Some of you are typing before watching the whole video and are saying, what on earth has fishing come to these days? Who on earth needs a bed chair that big? I'll stick to my insert X bed chair here. I know it's not for you, that's fine. You can stick to whatever you've already got, but for some people, this is exactly what they're looking for. If you're doing a longer session, or maybe you're a slightly larger chap, why skimp out on a bivvy on a bed chair side which is smaller than what you need or a lot as comfortable as what you need? Because at the end of the day, fishing is about enjoyment and if you're not comfortable sleeping or just in the day, then that could be the difference between a miserable session and an enjoyable session. And knowing Cyprinus, this would be extremely good value for money. On its side, perfect for puppet shows, but also shows the frame a bit better. Four sets of legs, so perfect weight distribution. Gone are the days of sitting down slightly to one side and the whole thing tipping you off and you ending up on the floor with hot tea all over yourself. All the legs also lock into place like so. So when you're moving it around in your uh, bivvy, it's not gonna collapse one of the legs and you sit down and again, collapses on the floor. Fully adjustable, so it goes from 30 centimeters height to 40 centimeters height. And the frame itself, you've seen how strong it is. I jumped on it, 12 and a half stone of me jumping on it, supported me absolutely no problem. Fitted to the bed chair is the, the bed chair itself. You've got elasticated head and tail ends, so there's a little bit extra flex and give on those ends, but right where it needed, you've got extra support, lumbar support here, also elasticated in the middle, but you can tighten or loosen that to make it exactly how you want it. When I first got on it yesterday, that was what I first noticed, was how much extra support there was here. And waking up this morning, no back pain, so obviously it did its job. And for anyone that's watched these videos for a long time, know I've suffered with a bad back, so that is a big plus point. One other thing worth noting while I'm here is double hinges so that it helps close everything into place. And it's also reinforced material here right where the stress and strain is, giving it a bit more extra support. So what makes it so comfortable? Starting off with the mattress, a couple of inches thick of memory foam and going to the edge, all the frame is covered again with a couple of inches thick of foam. Just making sure that if you do roll over, if it's not wide enough in the middle and you do roll over onto the frame you're still cushioned with a couple of inches of padding no problem that's ripstop material here and this is fleece lined now the first layer all of these zip into place as you can see and you've also got these little clips to hold it in place so whichever side you're getting out of the other side you can clip solid so that it's not going to come open by accident easy to use big uh, o-ring plastic clips inside fleece lined on the top you've got peach skin so this is probably this is what i slept under last night it was mid-teens temperature wise it's in the summer you don't have to have this on but you can take them off easily but that's what i used last night and was nice and comfortable really easy to move around and because it zips to the sides when i was rolling around in bed at night it wasn't getting hung up on me i wasn't getting wrapped up in a, in a typical sleeping bag system because it is just the top layer and then moving on to the top layer so this is what you would use in the winter because it's another thickness of uh, it's spray bonded cotton on the inside of these layers. Again, you've got fleece lined on the outside, on the inside, sorry, and then on the outside, you've got ripstop 600D material. So this can be easily wiped off, not gonna tear, you can get hooks stuck in this, all sorts. Wear and tear is perfect. If you're putting wet boots up on this in the day when you don't wanna get in it, that's gonna uh, keep you covered nicely. And again, zips into place. And if you don't want it on, fully unzips all the way around and take that off. Same as this, so you can whip it down to just the bare basics of a mattress. So there you go, Cyprinus's extra wide sleep system. For more information, please head over to the Cyprinus website. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.